With us just a few days away from the start of Black Friday and all of the ads right now are pretty much out, I want to highlight the best deals you can get across the board. So if you're looking for something specific, I'm going to try to highlight where you can get the best deal. Right off the top, if you're looking to buy stuff off retail, I do want to note that I think Best Buy is the best place to go. There are some deals, like a few here or there, that they fall a little bit short of. However, for the most part, they're really killing it in terms of value and undercut a lot of the other retailers. That's what I've noticed. I don't know how Best Buy is doing that, but they are. GameStop's also doing a decent job, but honestly, they fall a little below Black Friday as well. But in some other areas, uh, other retailers do come out on top as well. Let's go over some of the highlights first, though, before we get into specific games. The PlayStation 4 Pro Call of Duty bundle is available for $299.99 from Walmart, Dell, or Amazon. Right now, as of the recording of this video, it is not in stock on Amazon. However, it does note that it'll be in stock on January. January 4th, 2020. So that's a long time from now. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to pick that up right now, but there you have it with that. The Call of Duty bundle is there. Uh, Amazon also has the Death Stranding bundle. However, they've revised the price point of that and they've changed it back to $400. I believe it was $300 for a little bit. However, it's a slick bundle and the controller itself in this bundle goes for $100. So if you want a PS4, if you're super into Hideo Kojima, $400 is so expensive. But yeah, I do want to note that the Death Stranding bundle is available on Amazon right now, and I do imagine that that's going to be a pretty expensive console in the future. You know, after it's done for good and they're not creating any more of them, that's going to be one to check out. And of course, just about every retailer has the PS4 Slim with three games of Last of Us, God of War, Horizon, Complete Edition. That is available everywhere. Uh, controllers are available the cheapest at Walmart or Amazon. Walmart has them for $39 flat. Uh, I believe Amazon is also going at it at $39 flat. Yup, Amazon has them up right now for $39. So if you want a DualShock 4, that is your best bet. I would recommend Amazon so you can do it from the comfort of your own home. And as of the recording of this video, they do have that deal live. Uh, Green Man Gaming undercutting everybody for their PlayStation Plus deal. Their 12-month PlayStation Plus subscription is 29% off for $42.74. So every other retailer has it for $44.99. Green Man Gaming decided to undercut everybody and sell it for $42.74. Not a significant savings, but hey, if you can save a little bit additional money on PlayStation Plus, why not take advantage of it? And lastly, as far as the general deals go, the Black Friday $100 off PSVR bundles. Your real best bet for that is the five game pack bundle that is live right now at GameStop and it is available for $200 and every other retailer should have that as well. That is really the bundle I would buy. There is the Blood and Truth and Everybody's Golf bundle. That's $250, not worth it in my opinion. And the Astrobot Rescue Mission and Moss bundle for $200. Uh, the five game pack bundle is just on another level in terms of value. All right, now let's move on to specific game deals. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is seeing a slight price drop at every retailer. Best Buy actually doesn't have the best deal on this. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is available for $38 over at Walmart. So so if you want to get it for the cheapest possible, Walmart is your best bet. The only issue with that, I feel like Walmart is going to be an absolute S show to try to get uh, COD. A game like Call of Duty at a venue like Walmart, I mean, I just think that is going to be absolute chaos. And I think it's going to go out of stock relatively quickly. However, if you do want it for the cheapest price, that is where you can get it. And in actuality, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare copy for PS4 is actually discounted to $38 right now at Walmart as of the recording of this video. So if you do want to order it online, that's not a bad idea and you do get free two-day delivery. So that is really nice as well. All right, now let's move on and look at some of the Best Buy deals because they are really killing it in terms of offering great deals for the best prices. Where they're really shining is undercutting some of the other retailers. Resident Evil 2, Devil May Cry 5 are two very notable games as is Marvel Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition. Those at every other retailer is about $19.99. Uh, best Buy's going a little bit cheaper and selling them at $15. That is a great price. And throw Kingdom Hearts 3 in there as well. Again, another title that a bunch of the retailers are selling for $20. They've got it for $15. Resident Evil 2 for $15 is absolutely nuts. As is Devil May Cry 5, as is Marvel Spider-Man, and as is Kingdom Hearts 3. Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition specifically for $15. That's the base Spider-Man game and all of the DLC. That is pretty ridiculous. And then you throw in Resident Evil 2 and uh, Devil May Cry 5 and Kingdom Hearts 
Borderlands 3 into that fray. Pretty nuts in terms of the value of that deal. Borderlands 3 is also the cheapest that's available anywhere at Best Buy. It's $28. The other retailers have it for around $30 to $35. $28 makes it even better, and I think Borderlands 3 is a pretty good game. Hopefully, you guys at least tried out the free weekend that just happened, so you can, you know, make a decision for yourself on whether or not you want to pick the game up, but that's another one where they're really offering a good deal on. Also, I've noticed that uh, Best Buy's got a lot of great deals on some more niche titles. Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age down to $20. That's a great buy, and I know that's not a game that, you know, the mainstream Black Friday shopping audience is going to be all over. However, $20 for DQ11 is quite good, and it's available for $20 right now. It's a part of one of their Black Friday pre-deals, so that is something you can check out right away. Nier Automata is another one you can check out right away, and that is available for $20. Another title that for a while was not going on sale all too often, but right now is down to $20, and I would highly recommend that. The game of the Yorha Edition doesn't add anything crazy, however, Nier Automata itself is a fantastic game, and I would very much recommend that. Best Buy is also discounting some recent titles. Shenmue 3 is available for $34.99. That is a great buy for a game that just came out. I mean, Shenmue 3 is not getting excellent reviews across the board, but given that it just released, I would say that $35 price point is pretty good. Code Vein is one title they have priced a little bit higher than some other retailers. I believe Target's got it a little bit cheaper, but they're pricing it at $39.99. Uh, it should be around $34.99, but, you know, a $5 difference at this price point isn't a deal breaker, but if you do want Code Vein, going to one of the other retailers might be your best option. In the case of Need for Speed Heat, the standard edition is $40. I do believe other retailers have that for $35, so do be mindful of that. I don't know how hot of an item NFS Heat is to pick up this holiday. However, if you do want it, uh, it is already discounted, and given that it came out earlier this month, much like Shenmue 3, pretty surprising to see that, although I shouldn't really say that, and I did predict that, not giving myself a pat on the back or anything, but just letting you guys know. Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition is $30 at Best Buy. It's available for $24 as a part of the Black Friday sale uh, on the PlayStation Store right now, so that's actually one area where they are losing out a little bit. World War Z is another game. It's $20 on Best Buy. It's $20 in the majority of retailers. I believe the PlayStation Store has it for $18 so you can save a little bit that way. Control is a game that they're selling really cheap, $25 for that, uh, so that's really good. Amazon already has it for $29.88, so if you want to check it out now, you can already order it, uh, but if you want to save a little bit more, $25 for Control is going to be really good. Control is going to be $25 at Target as well, so that's one title you can save a little bit more on over there. I should note that Judgment is available right now for $25 at Amazon. This is the cheapest price that I've seen it for, $25 for Judgment is a great buy. Target's going to have it for $30. The majority of retailers are going to have it for $30. So if you want it the cheapest possible, $25 for Judgment over on Amazon right now is your best bet. Circling back to Target as well. Need for Speed Heat will be $35 over there. Monster Hunter World Iceborne Master Edition will be $35 there. That might be the best deal available in the entire sale. I do not think it's hyperbolic in saying that just because the amount of content that is available is absolutely ridiculous. So that's a great buy from Target. Uh, Borderlands 3 is one area where Target does flub a little bit. They have it for $35, of course, $28 at Best Buy. So you're seeing where the price discrepancies in certain areas does come back to bite you in the ass a little bit. Uh, World War Z is going to be available for $15 at Target, so I was a little bit mistaken about that. It is available at the PlayStation Store for uh, $18. Target will have it for $15, so that is a really good buy. And Target will be matching Best Buy in terms of Resident Evil 2. It will be available for $15, as is Kingdom Hearts 3. They don't have Devil May Cry 5 picture there, nor do they have Marvel Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition picture there. So again, the discrepancies are really starting to show, but as you guys could probably tell, if you want to buy stuff from the comfort of your own home, Amazon is already posting a lot of great deals. They've got stuff like Judgment, Greedfall, God of War, Evil Within 2, Dragon Quest, 11, DQ Builders 2, a lot of great deals are already being posted on Amazon, Days Gone, Shenmue 1 and 2, Shenmue 3, a lot of the deals are crossing over and available on Amazon, however, Best Buy does have a few standouts, but ultimately, uh, the cheapest deals at some point are probably going to be available at Amazon. At some point, I do imagine that DMC5 will be available for $15 at Amazon, as is the case with Resident Evil 2. Uh, Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition was already available for $15, but it went out of stock. The only thing is, if you shop exclusively at Amazon, a lot of the games will come in and out of stock, so they might be in stock for a little bit, then they'll be pulled, then they'll be back in stock. That's usually how they do the sale, so it's a little bit hard to get exactly 
exactly what you want. But I'll leave a link in the description box below with some of the highlights and I'll list some of the best deals that are going to be available in specific retailers. It's a little all over the place because there's so much to go across. However, I feel like I've done a pretty good job in covering everything. And that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.